welcome to the desk of Fusta 2005. Today we're going to do a one and a half year review of these Bose Sport earbuds. These came out in the fall of 2020 and I picked them up for Christmas uh, 2020 as well and man I had a I had a reminder on my phone to do a review of these in December of 2021 so I was gonna do a year year review of these and I just uh, I lost lost some motivation had some health issues family matters and uh, never never got around to it so uh, we're gonna do it today so I've I've literally been using these pretty frequently I, I do like them um, they've had some software updates along the way but uh, basically what these are, if, you've, uh, if you haven't seen my previous videos, these are wireless earbuds. And you would think they would fall out of your ear, but if you get the right size uh, silicone mold here for your ears, uh, it, it does a, a pretty good job of sticking in your ear. I jog with them on the treadmill and outside, and the only time I've had a problem with them coming out is if I don't get it in all the way, or if I hit it with my hand, if I'm scratching my the side of my head or something. But uh, they're pretty pretty easy to set up. There's a, a Bluetooth button here in the middle, pairing pairing button, and uh, you just find it on your phone and follow the directions. And it's uh, an easy setup. Uh, you can use these. I, I do use these for calls. There's a little microphone right there. It's not the best quality. If you have background noise, it doesn't do a very good job. But uh, if, if you're in a quiet environment, these, these will work for, for a phone call. And I do, I can only use, if I, this is the, the right earbud. If these, uh, if you need to, you can use one. And I would recommend using the right one because it has the microphone and and you can talk with it. And this this is the left one, and it's uh, you can only listen through it. But uh, yeah, these do come in several different colors. I I don't I have a, I have a hard time. Some of the cons that I have with these is that they are difficult. These are touch. It's touch uh, controls. So you double tap to play and pause. You can swipe up for volume, up and down for volume, and uh, side to side to uh, skip songs or repeat. And uh, depending on the situation, or if there's like if you have water on your hand or you're wearing a glove, <laughs> it uh, obviously doesn't work very well. So I, I often have to use my phone to do all of those features if I need to do it quickly rather than messing around with it. Uh, initially there was a complaint that you couldn't use these separately. So, so like I said, you, you can right now use them uh, the right one by itself. If you wanted to initially when they came out you couldn't. Like if you if you took out your your left one, it would stop working altogether. But if you leave them in the case and you just take out the right one, it, it'll work just fine. I think that was a software update that they did, or a, a firmware up, update. And yeah, I mean, the, the sound quality is, here's your typical Bose. Um, if you're coming from something similar, I know like Jabra and like Sony and, and uh, some like Jawbone and other companies like that have different different versions. I mean, they're not. I, I would imagine that each company has their their uh, claim to fame. Uh, Bose, you know, thinks that they're the best sound out there, and I know that there's other companies that make better sound or you know, different sounds. Some people like more bass. Uh, Bose is, is typically more balanced between all things. There's not like, a, oh, this is a nice bass. I mean, yes, you can adjust them. Uh, you can adjust your equalizer on your phone or whatnot. Um, I'm not sure you, you can do it on these headphones, but the firmware just came out for the 
the uh, soundproof uh, Bose QC45s, which I will do a review on hopefully soon, that I got uh, a couple, a few months ago, last year, some at some point I got that. And you can play with the, equaliz uh, the equalizer settings on that one now, so I, I have to double check to see if you can also do it with these. I've never done it, but uh, they sound fine to me. I'm not uh, your typical audio f audiophile, that uh, audiophile, yeah, that's what it is. I'm filled with audio, that's an audiophile. Um, but uh, yeah, they sound good to me. Like I said, this, the, uh, the phone quality isn't that great if you have a lot of background noise. These aren't soundproof headphones or uh, buds. Uh, my wife does have the you know, the sound uh, the soundproof ones, and she seems to like them as well. I did an unboxing of those. I uh, haven't talked to her very much about how how she likes them, but she uses them all the time, so I imagine that is the case. And these these are just the sport version of those. They aren't soundproof at all. Uh, it's got a magnetic case here. You just kind of snap them in, close it, and tells you what the uh, battery level is. And like I said, these do come in, in uh, a couple different colors. This has kind of a, a raised um, name plate on it. And it kind of gives you a little bit of information on the bottom that you really can't read unless you have a bright light. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for these. Um, if you have any questions about anything or you're looking at buying something, something similar and uh, want, want to compare features, uh, go ahead and give it, a, give it a comment in the comment section. And like and subscribe if you like this video. And we'll catch you on the next one.